given an R equals 100 newtons and theta equals 65 degrees. Question. What are the component parts of vector R? I put my givens, I put my givens off to one side. The next thing I do is I draw my parallelogram parallel to the y-axis and then parallel to the x-axis. There's my parallelogram. Let me rearrange this to enhance my fighting room. I'll put, put my instructions over here at the top and my givens over here on the left. Next is to determine the magnitude of my Fy. My Fy component. Let me label it first and this is my Fy component. All right, how do we determine it? Well, we take the force, the resultant, R, and we multiply it times the sine of theta. That will give me the magnitude Fy. Well, what's the resultant? It's 100, and theta is 65, so I write down sine of 65 and that will equal my y component, Fy. I have to figure out what sine of 65 is. So I clear off the calculator and then the sine of 65, 65 sine times R, which is 100, as you can see up here. times 100 equals 90.63. I'll just put 90.6. Round it off. So that equals 90.6. Now I have to determine the magnitude of Fy. Fx, pardon me. I have to determine the magnitude of Fx. Fx equals what? Well, that's going to be 100, the resultant, times the cosine of theta, which is 65. So, let's do that now. And here we go. Clear up the calculator, and then I can 65, and I click on cosine. I get point four. 2, 2, 6. Now I multiply times the resultant, times 100. And I should get 42.26. Yes, I do. So f of x is equal to 42 point, let's round it off to 3, 42.3 newtons. So I got 90.6 newtons for fy and 42.3 newtons for fx. That's what we got so far. Now let's check our work and make certain we've got everything correct. Now opposite to angle theta is 90.6 newtons. That's the opposite side. The adjacent side would be 42.3 newtons. Adjacent would be 42.3 newtons. Opposite 90.6 newtons. That's tangent. Now. If we take the tangent inverse of this thing, what did you say? The tangent inverse? Yes. I said if we take the tangent inverse of this thing, tangent inverse, it'll give us the angle that corresponds to this ratio, 90.6 over 42.3, that it will be theta. 
and theta we have down as 65. Let's see if this works. Let's see if the tension inverse of 90.6 over 42.3 newtons, 90.6 newtons over 42.3 newtons, the tangent inverse of that ratio gives us 65. If it does, we are good to go. Let's find out. Where's that calculator? There he is. I got him. Let me shimmy that guy over just a little bit. Clear off the screen and get some. Clear everything off. 90.6 newtons divided by 42.3 newtons equals this number, 2.14. Now, I'm going to scooch on over to here, click on the inverse button, and then click on tangent. I should get about 65 or pretty close to it. Here we go, 64.97. Ooh la la, my toes are tingly and my piglies are wiggly. It worked, 64.97 is close enough. We are good to go. Okay, that's it. I ain't got no more to say on this subject. It's been fun. So long now.